Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Rodriguez and I'm a first year medical student in Florida. Um, so today I wanted to make a video about my time at FIU. I said I was gonna do this video a long time ago through my Instagram stories. If you've not followed me there, I sometimes put video ideas and you guys tell me yes or no. And someone asked me to do it <laughs> now recently, so I decided why not? I, I should do it now that I have graduated. I graduated from FIU last spring 2020 and I got a bachelor's degree in biological sciences and I just had a great experience there. I just wanted to share all about it and tell you guys, like talk about the school in general. So if you guys are considering going there for undergraduate, you will have just a little bit of background information on my experience and, and just being pre-med and all the stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, just keep watching. <laughs> First, let's talk about the campus. The campus is just beautiful. It's big. It has a lot of different offices for different things. It has a beautiful gym. It has um, like an art museum. It has also um, a musical theater and uh, a lot of cafeterias and places where you can eat. And they're adding every year. I feel like they add more and more um, places where you can go. So I really, when I left <laughs> FIU, I really felt it, you know, because I was there four hours a week and I really got connected to the FIU campus and people and, and the libraries. And it has a really big library, seven floors, and there's quiet floors, there's, there's um, talking floors, anything that you will think that you need. So in terms of the campus, it has amazing facilities and, and different research uh, areas where you can go on the research. I did my research right there at FIU with the uh, College of Medicine there. Um, my with my professor, he was a, a PhD um, professor that was doing um, research in immunology. So I helped him do it, and it was also related to Alzheimer's. So I helped him kind of both things. So it has a lot of great opportunities to stay there, be there, and do everything that you need for your career there. Um, so yeah, for, then let's talk about tuition. So tuition is one of the main um, reasons why I think you should go there, especially if you're being a pre-med, because I recommend, please, please, please try to make your undergraduate tuition almost as close to zero as possible, because medical school is an expensive enough, right? So you wanna make your undergraduate the least expensive as you can. Uh, FIU is only, not only, but like, it's relatively less expensive that, than other um, than other universities. It's about 3,000 a semester if you are full-time. Like, I was full-time the whole way through. I was taking between 15 to 17 credits every semester. And if you wanna take, if you wanna see Every single class I took as a pre-med, there's a video I made, you can, I'm gonna link it here so you guys can see it, but I went through how many classes I took per semester, if I did summer classes, I'll, I'll show it to you, so if you wanna check it out, it's there. Um, but if I were to have paid every single class, it would be around 3,000 per semester, if you're taking around 15 uh, credits. But there's a lot of opportunities for scholarship, and if you are low income, most of the time the government will give you a grant so that's one of the main reasons i went there um just to make my undergraduate um as le as less expensive as possible and i don't regret it at all because if you had everything and even more than i was expecting from from a big university like that so at the first the first semester you get a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> because the classes are huge, especially if you're pre-med and you're taking like biology and chemistry. The classes are like 300 <laughs> students and just a whole auditorium full of students. So it's, it's easy to, to say, it's hard to connect with professors. But yeah, like I said in another of my videos, you really need to put effort on going to office hours and that's the way that you connect with professors everywhere. And 
Um, yeah, that part, it's it has its ups and downs. If you, there's some classes you will go and like more specific classes, for example, I had to take an animal behavior class, which I hated. <laughs> and the class was only like 30 students because it was very selective. And those classes you usually take during your junior or senior year. Um, but the big classes are big. <laughs> like they're, they're huge and you need to just accommodate um, if you want to get like red letters from the professors, if you want to connect with it, with the professors that way. Now, being pre-med at FIU is great. You have so, so, so many pre-med clubs you can join. Many, many, many leadership opportunities to take um, or to apply. You don't have no, uh, how do you say, excuse <laughs> for not taking a leadership position. At FIU, there's just so many clubs you can join, so many things you can do for the community, so many different connections. You can even become a leader in, in the school um, projects kinds of things instead of pre-med stuff. You can get involved with the CSO, which I believe is, is, the, um, is the office that controls all of the clubs. And those things are also leadership opportunities. You, know, you can get involved in many things that are not um, medical school related and also count as leadership. Uh, there is um, a lot of volunteering opportunities going on always. You have a pre-health office. This is a really, really important part if you are pre-med to consider when you're going to find a university. It has a pre-med health office that dedicates itself to serving pre-med students and other pre-health um, professions to do exactly that, to build on the re uh, on the resume, to prepare your personal statement, to apply to medical school. They've got a, a whole process for you and they will take you in, in any stage of the process that you are. I started there in my sophomore year because in my first year I was a little bit lost, <laughs> if I may say, but the second year I realized that it was there for me. An office dedicated they have advisors that you can go to and they're really nice. I know for many, many medical students have told me that pre-health advisors are a little bit discouraging, but in my in FIU, it was the opposite. They were there to, to protect you and kind of guide you. They really want you to get into medical school. That's like their goal. And they want as many of their students to get in. They even do, um, I thought it was so nice, they even do like a celebration. When you do get into medical school, they have like a ceremony where they celebrate you and they present you and um, they are super supportive. And the first acceptance that I got, I remember, <laughs> I got it when I was in medical, like inside the school, I was working on something because I was still taking classes in the spring semester. And I, like I told you guys, I got my first acceptance in January and I went to the pre-health office and I told my advisor and oh my God, he almost cried. I was crying in his office and he cried with, almost cried with me too. So I felt really great connection there. And he, there was a program that I wanted to go to in my sophomore year. And he actually wrote, I needed a, a rec letter or something. I don't remember. Yeah, a letter in order for me to go to the program and he did it for me and that's the way that you build connections if you have pre-health advisors at your school i recommend you to go there and just connect with them um the professors so i don't know about you guys but i i had a lot a lot a lot of professors and that i can think of as bad experiences None of them were bad experiences. I mean, two or three could have been harder professors because they are going to be hard professors. But most of my professors were so, so, so good. They really, really wanted you to learn the material. They will go above and beyond, especially the professors during my third and fourth year at FIU. They were really dedicated. I have my favorites. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but I do have my favorite professors that are still teaching at FIU and they're awesome. They are um, professors of cell biology, microbiology, um, um, chemistry, really great chemistry team. The chemistry and physics building is really, really old, <laughs> but it's a really great community when you want to find opportunities and you get to like teach if you want to teach there's so many opportunities 
to be like teaching assistant, learning assistant. There's a program that is called um, PLTL and it's peer-led <laughs> team learning and I was part of it for two semesters, it was awesome. After two semesters I got to be supervisor which was also like supervising the, the leaders and you just really get to grow as you get involved in a program um, so you have a lot, a lot of things you can do and, and just build on your resume from there and not just in the, in the fact that you're building the resume but in the fact that you are doing so many things for the community, engaging things like that that you are getting practice for when you are actually in medical school that you have to continue doing the stuff so it's not like some people think that oh i got into medical school and now i don't have to do nothing <laughs> it's the opposite now i get to use the skills that i learned in undergraduate and apply them here to probably or or hopefully create things um health related and projects i already reached out to some professors about doing research and i want to really get involved and the only reason why i feel confident to do so is because i got experience doing those kind of networking in undergraduate so yeah if i do if you did a great um work in that and I feel like not only the the campus or the university but what the what the student makes of the university but the opportunities are there definitely there's a lot of opportunities for active learning um, like I said the PLTL program basically is like 10 students with a leader and they go off um, like doing questions about it it's similar to PBL that we do now in medical school but with of course basic science questions um, and it's just awesome, awesome. I the, the teaching programs, the the mentoring programs. There's mentoring programs with the, with the College of Medicine at FIU. So if you want to get mentored by medical students, you you have the opportunity right there and then. The having a medical school in the university, I think is the same for FAU. Will give you a lot of opportunities to get mentorship because there's a lot of students that are doing what you want to do so you kind of like get guidance from them if you wish <laughs> so yeah i think that's it for what i want to talk about if you have any other questions about fiu i was there for four years i live 15 minutes from there so i was very very engaged in the school in in i was even in the in the choir because you guys know i like to sing so i joined the choir uh, in the School of Music at FAU for a semester and it was a great, great experience. If you want me to talk about it, I certainly can and I do have some friends still from there. Um, they're really close-knit community of music students like opera, if you're into that, it's a great program. Um, but yeah, if you have any other questions about FIU, please let me know. I kind of like didn't know exactly what to cover in this video, but definitely if you have any other questions, Put them down below, I'll help you decide <laughs> what school to go to. Like I said, if you go to a, a state school, it's better. If you're a pre-med, please try to make your undergraduate as less expensive as possible. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.